Hey there, this is Scott with Showing Awesome. I'm going to show you one of the new locations and options for the CapCut characters inside of CapCut, as well as the credits I'm starting to see. They gave me some as a pro user. I'm not so sure how much they are for everyone else or non-pro users or when you use them up. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to give you a quick uh, rundown here. As you may have tried before, if you haven't, you do need a, a voice track or auto captions made as your first option. So in this video here, I've got a voiceover here that I've done. And then to do auto captions for that, to give the character something to read, you can go up to captions. If you haven't done this before, it's extremely easy. You choose your, your language. You choose any bilingual captions on the pro version only auto highlight pro version only and then identify filler words in pro version so to generate those captions you just hit this generate button at the bottom and it's going to take a few moments and generate those automatically which most software does now but what's nice about CapCut, it lays in above that voiceover and you see it dropping in right here identifying filler words which I love to get rid of. So now that you've got those captions highlighted here, you can then go up to AI characters. You see how it dropped in the text. Go up to AI characters, which is the original place it was located. And by the way, if you haven't seen it, you can now customize your AI character. So you've got the same characters that came with. You have some new characters. You also have, I'll highlight here, characters with backgrounds already built in. And of course, with each character in the background or not, you have your ability to choose a voice now, which is pretty cool. So if you highlight any part of these captions that you've already made, and you go to AI characters and you choose one, let's choose anybody here. And as you can see, the other options here, which I don't want, is that background on a different person. You can also choose the different voices, and it'll give you a testing sample. And then if you want to go to Adorable Girl. The auto caption feature in just one, two, three. And you could really have some fun with these. They're, they're kind of funny. Sports commentator. The auto caption feature in just one to three. So at any rate, the point I'm trying to show you is not only do you have those voices here and a lot of them, you have that framing to choose from full body, three quarters, then you have half and then you have the circle but you have to be careful with the backgrounds i'm not even going to click them because actually i haven't found out how to get out of them once i do sadly you can choose the color of that background i'm choosing to keep mine transparent you can also put an image back there which is different and here in this little black box you can actually upload your own image i'm going to forget about doing that for now but you can see all the options and the other thing i really want to point out to you here if you look here it says credits needed or 20. that's based on this one little clip here if i was going to select all of my clips it then shows me we want to get back in the cap cut we got to be on top of the clip there i believe we don't want to choose the video. See that? There you go. Learn something new every day. You cannot choose the video, the captions only. Then you go back to AI characters and it's going to tell you based on the character you choose 128 credits needed. They've given me 538. Why? I don't know why. I think it started at 550. If anyone knows again, please comment. But it tells you how many credits you need for each application. And I do believe if you go to certain people with backgrounds, that changes. Uh, not quite. I think if you might add different other backgrounds or images, it might change. Then you can choose your, your voice here. And I just wanted to point out, you have the credits needed. So if I want to drop it in, I can choose a voice and it's going to, it's going to let me do it, but only after I go down here and that's, you got to choose your person. The, the you got it's going to see add and you have to agree at that point to add it. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to show you over here in the left pane. You now have the ability to add AI characters this way. And what this does for you, it allows you to literally drop in text here manually. And you can also do AI writer to script a text. But if with my manual text alone right here, you can also test out these voices. This is how these voice will sound. And you have the same background options and framing options below. So that's the second newest way that CapCut's letting you do it by adding your own text or doing the AI writer. I'm personally going to stick to the, the other way where I can basically take a voiceover of a video here and then choose that, that person as such. So let's go ahead and show you to finish out this video uh, what that actually looks like. And yes, I skipped over before because I just wanted to cover those two options. Let's say I choose Eve standing. 
let's say I choose a normal female voice and I keep everything else the same. Well, let me make sure the framing is what I want it and what it looks like. Okay, and then you hit add and it's generating it right now. I think it's probably already charged me at 128 credits. Actually, no, it's now it's saying 84. I wonder why that changed, but basically it does allow you here to accept that total, total credits that are in your bank, so to speak, and once you apply, they get deducted. I'm not gonna do it right now, but that is basically the newest way that you can add captions inside a cap cut with the AI features as well as the manual features in addition to the old way. Uh, but most importantly, the point of this video was to show you how credits are now being applied. I had not seen that before, and I could not find, by the way, on CapCut's website what those charges would be if I go over. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know what other CapCut videos you'd like to see because I use it almost every day. Have a great day. Thank you.